Hello and welcome back to the Good Bowls program. I'm Jasmine Westbrooks, registered dietitian and certified diabetes care and education specialist. And I'm glad to be with you. This week is all about keeping ourselves and our family healthy by handling, preparing, and storing our food safely. By following four simple rules, we can fix food safely and eat well. The first rule to fixing food safely is to clean. When it comes to food preparation, clean refers to both cleaning and sanitizing so that the surfaces we touch and the surfaces our food touches do not have harmful bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that can make us sick. We need to clean our hands when preparing and handling food. The best way to clean our hands is with plain soap and water. When washing our hands, we want to make sure to scrub our hands with soap and water, focusing on both sides of the hands, the lower wrist, between fingers, and your nail area for at least 20 seconds. As you teach your children, think of a favorite tune or theme. Singing the happy birthday song twice is a good way to measure 20 seconds. Rinse your hands well under clean running water and dry your hands with a clean towel or an air dryer when in public places. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. As you prepare food, wash your hands before, during, and after. We also need to keep our surfaces clean. Use a clean dishcloth with warm soapy water to wash those surfaces down. Also clean and sanitize dish towels daily. It's also important to wash fresh fruits and vegetables under cold water to remove dirt from preparing or eating. The next rule that helps us fix and eat safely and well is to separate. Harmful bacteria and viruses like to hitchhike from one food to another or from surface to another. When this spreading or movement of microorganisms happens, it's actually called cross-contamination. Separating our food can help prevent cross-contamination in so many different ways. Always separate raw meat, poultry, and seafood from other foods when shopping and preparing. Use a cutting board for fresh fruits and vegetables and a separate cutting board for raw meat, poultry, and seafood. Also use different clean knives for each type of food. Use a separate plate or platter for preparing meat, poultry, and seafood when raw. Use a different plate, platter, or serving dish when these foods are cooked as well. Keep raw and cooked foods in separate areas of the refrigerator as well. The next rule to help us fix and eat food safely is to cook. Cooking food to the right temperature is an important part of preventing foodborne illnesses. Recipes estimate a time to cook food. However, the only exact measure that harmful bacteria has been destroyed and a food is safe to eat is to check the temperature with a thermometer. We measure the internal temperature of a food by inserting a thermometer into the thickest part of the food making sure not to touch the bone, fat, or the pan the food is cooked in. The correct safe temperature depends on the food because different foods have different types of bacteria that actually may be present. For example, fish and seafood should be cooked to 145 degrees. Also cook beef and pork to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook ground beef to 160 degrees Fahrenheit and cook poultry, ground turkey, ground chicken to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook those favorite casseroles to 165 degrees Fahrenheit and reheat dishes to 165 as well. Now the final rule to remember to fix our food safely is to chill. After cooking, refrigerate food quickly as cold temperatures keep harmful bacteria from growing and multiplying. Place cooked hot food in shallow containers so that they cool down quickly. Bacteria grow most rapidly when food is in the danger zone, which is between 40 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So don't leave food out in the kitchen, in the car, or outside. Keep your refrigerator set between 34 degrees and 40 degrees Fahrenheit and keep your freezer to zero degrees, which help keeps the food below temperature danger zones and also slows bacterial growth. 
In addition to not leaving foods out, it's good to check and clean out your refrigerator and throw away leftovers that are over three days to seven days old. Also check that use by date on food labels and throw out expired foods. Remember these four rules, clean, cook, separate, and chill to help us fix our food safely. So stay tuned for more tips this week to help you and your family eat well and eat good bowls.